Welcome to the Western Pacific Fishery Management Council's Fish Forever podcast about sustainable fishing through effective stewardship in the U.S. Pacific Islands. In this podcast, we learn about the importance of our coral reef and what one of Hawaii's marine institutions is doing to ensure its future. For all its rugged natural beauty, Hawaii's coral reefs form the foundation of a rich marine environment. For thousands of years, they've played a key role in sustainable fishing. Yet, their very existence can be threatened by those who rely upon it the most. Fishermen and other ocean users need to take great care to avoid damaging these fragile organisms when they're out on the reef. Coral reefs are critical, especially to us in, in the Hawaiian Islands. The majority of the fishes that you find around the islands would not be here were it not for coral reefs. Coral reefs are their home, they provide refuges, they provide spawning sites, and they also provide food. So without coral reefs, there would be very, very few, if any, fish around the islands. Scientists at the Waikiki Aquarium realized that this unique ecosystem was at risk, and in 1978 began taking steps to make sure these delicate creatures were protected from extinction. And the objective of this was to propagate corals in captivity, to essentially to grow them in captivity. And at that time, it was the first project of its kind in the world. Since then, the Waikiki Aquarium has become the world's leader in cultivating coral, with more than 127 species from Hawaii and the South Pacific. Coral reefs are threatened throughout most of their range, and they're a critical part of the aquatic ecosystem around many tropical areas. By keeping them in captivity, propagating them, it allows us people the possibility of using those captive bred, captive reared pieces of coral to repopulate coral reefs. Behind the scenes, we're also propagating native Hawaiian corals, mainly threatened species, just as a, a coral bank to try and ensure that they don't become extinct. If they die in the wild, we have reference colonies here. And we're calling this project the, the Coral Ark. So we've got several species of threatened Hawaiian corals that if they should disappear in the wild, we, we have them here ready for possible reintroduction. The reef environment is a place of great beauty with an abundance of diverse life, but that attractiveness can also lead to its demise. Visitors eager to experience this colorful paradise can easily do a lot of damage. And Dr. Rossiter asks that everyone learn to appreciate how fragile this ecosystem really is. Be careful where you step. Corals are extremely delicate. Essentially, it's a calcium skeleton with a very thin skin of living material over the top. If you damage that skin by stepping on it or scuffing it, it leaves it open to bacterial infection and it can spread to kill the whole coral. So be very, very careful. Be a good reef visitor. Don't step on the reef. Even miles from shore, everyone can do something to help protect our fragile reefs. Quite simply, first thing to do is it starts at home. Because we're on an island in Hawaii, very small island, very steep uh, terrain, every drop of rain that lands on the island ends up ultimately on the reef. It gets there by hitting the ground, percolating through the soil, going into streams, into runoff, and then out on the reef. Smother the corals. With ocean users becoming more aware of the delicate nature of the reef, and with the preservation efforts of the Waikiki Aquarium's Coral Arc program, Hawaii's corals will have a better chance of surviving well into the future. Programs like this one support effective coral reef management and conservation so we can enjoy our local fish forever. Please join us again for another Fish Forever podcast brought to you by the Western Pacific Fishery Management Council.